Welcome, everyone. In today's segment, we will focus on one idea that I've been trying to dig deeper into, which is to understand how technology, with all its powers and promise, can actually deliver social good or make social impact, and how students like uh, our guest today, Prakar Mittal, can enlighten us about what's going on in the world, and why does technology get a bad name, and how can that change? So go ahead, Prakar, tell us a little bit about social impact and technology. Okay, so um, I believe that technology is a, big, is a big part of our lives today. And whatever social good or harm technology does, like that will continue to like expand. So it is like up to us, like my generation to figure out ways of using technology to really improve people's lives. So like personal ethics really plays a big part into that. And I like, even from high school, I really wanted to use the skills, the minimal skills I had to help people. So for example, I, when I, and when I was learning web dev, I came up with this idea that, um, for example, my driver was struggling to get bank account details and a passport, for example. So there was a huge disconnect in getting documentation from the Indian government. So I made like a website that could ease people who don't have much experience into th that sort of thing with that. So that was a very simple problem that I solved at that age. And to me, the idea of using my skills to help someone was really important. And for example, in like my first year of college, I found a track my change. So our entire idea was to give back to social organizations. So a lot of them are doing really fantastic work at the ground level, but they don't really have a big reach, maybe because they don't have the time or the skill for marketing, getting donations and things like that. So we thought that we could step in and use technology. So what we did was um, we interviewed, for example, all the volunteers that had worked for them and we collected impact metrics on what the organization was doing and we made these sort of like interactive widgets so that's like um whenever a potential donor or volunteer comes to the website instead of just reading a big old paragraph about their work which most people don't do we created these fancy like good looking graphics with the right numbers highlighted for example one dollar can do this much they can feed five women in Rajasthan, for example. That was one of our examples. And just quantifying things like that really drives donations and volunteering, volunteering up. So that was like one thing we did. And technology is here for social good. And yeah. Thank you so much. I think it was great knowing about all of this. Um, so just as a segue into skill sets, like you, you felt that web dev and app dev uh, can be a very interesting tool to amplify or help uh, organizations um, that are seeking volunteers or figuring out how to uh, have a wider outreach. Um, so for students who are now getting into web dev and app dev, what advice would you give them as, as to what are the resources they should use? What are the few steps that work for you? So I would say that Starting with web dev is a pretty good stepping stone because web dev is uh, relatively easier to do and it has a broad outreach. So you could, even if like you don't have, you don't know React, for example, even a plain HTML CSS website can do wonders for a social organization. So instead of um, feeling like held back by your technical skills, whatever technical skills you have, you can use them for good. And for example, for web dev, you can start with HTML, then CSS, JavaScript. And nowadays, like JavaScript plugins like React and Vue are pretty common. For app dev also, like Android app dev is pretty huge. So there's a lot of scope for helping organizations there. Thank you so much, Prakar. I think we'll definitely want our students to connect with you to get more information and links to resources. Looking forward to following your journey and keep making impact happen. Thank you. Bye.